Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. Now I'm really excited to talk about tonight's video because we are going to be talking and speculating about this event that has been teased from Treyarch and Activision themselves, the Shamrock in Awe event, which is going to be coming this March around sometime Saint, around St. Patrick's Day is what we're speculating right now, um, but it has been confirmed because of the roadmap they put out for this operation. And of course we've had Shamrock in Awe and St. Patrick's Day events uh, previously in I think World War II and Black Ops 3. I don't know if I'm missing any other games. Um, but yeah, we're going to talk about all that. Some new DLC weapons are most likely going to be seen. Some new variants and some other stuff. Very exciting stuff to talk about. And I think that this is what we need is that we need these operations or seasons, but we also need stuff in the middle of them. And that's what I talked about in the past was like a, a Fortnite season. They're also upgrading it constantly in the weeks in between it. But with the Black Ops season, at least with season two, what we saw around Christmas time, I understand that was holidays and they were probably off work and stuff. But that one, they sort of just threw the update out and left it. And I think that with this one, with Grand Heist, it's an awesome update. And if they do mini updates in the middle of it, like something in March with the Shamrock and Awe event, this could be amazing. So that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to cover it, give you guys everything you you need to know right now rumors leaks the truth everything drop a like subscribe i'd very much appreciate it, it takes a half a second if you guys could smack smack that like button thank you so much and let's get right into it so basically on the roadmap when they put out operation grand heist um which of course began on february 19th on ps4 and then a week later on xbox and pc there was a few things in there you know of course we all know about the new dlc weapons the outrider but there was a few things in the poster which were um sort of speculating that they were going to come later in this event and not on the original release. And one of them was the new Blackout Experience Redacted. So that was interesting. I'm not sure if that is something that they've already added because they did do quite a bit of Blackout updates or if that means another experience is going to be coming in the future, which is definitely possible because this poster was, you know, released with the update. And uh, if, I mean, I guess maybe they want to keep it private until it was directly live. And the other one, though, is Shamrock and Awe event in March. Now, this is very interesting because, of course, Shamrock and Awe around St. Patrick's Day. So I looked up St. Patrick's Day 2019, which falls on Sunday, March 17th. So about halfway through March. When I'm making this video is the 1st of March. So it's probably going to be in about two to three weeks or so when we see this stuff start to happen. And what is going to happen? What is this update going to be? And what would this mean? Now, there is potential to think that this could be the 1.14 patch update and could come with some game settings, weapon balance, and different changes like that as well. Uh, I think most likely that is possible because that of the fact that, you know, when they're adding a new event, there's possibly going to be a new mini contraband stream like we saw when we got the Cap 45 uh, that was added in, which I guess they did something on the previous season, but I just didn't think it was enough, which adding that uh, separate one with the Cap 45. Um, and then also there are a few things in the bottom of this for Blackout, Zombies, and Multiplayer that were listed and that are still yet to come which were uh in season you know they listed some things that's coming out in launch week and some things is in season infected bare bones which i talked about before the bare bones playlist we're getting coming to black ops 4 with no specialist prop hunt fracture and additional new modes for blackout and this is all stuff we're going to be seeing upcoming here uh, in the near future for blackout a spring map update hardcore mode new equipment an event which is redacted so it looks like it is going to be something else and then additional new modes and then for zombies helcatraz gauntlet uh, host migration, new elixirs, server pause, and a split screen pause. So that stuff was all set to be coming out um, as, you know, throughout this season, right? And then, of course, with the Shamrock and all of that taking place mid-March. Now, that stuff is all exciting and cool. We're, we're going to be getting new stuff. We're going to be getting uh, a new uh, mini event, possibly. But what is it going to be? You know, what is going to be found in that? And there actually has been quite a few leaks, a lot of them from Josh Wukul on Reddit. And he's actually found, and this is the guy who found the Cap 45 as well. He found that there's a new sniper found in the game right now, which is called the Mini 14. Um, some people are saying that it could be a tactical rifle because a Mini 14 couldn't be classified as a sniper in the Reddit comments, but it's listed in the files as Sniper Mini 14. Uh, so probably some sort of a sniper. And also a Demo Hammer melee weapon was also found. So that's interesting. Two new weapons. And now this has got everyone speculating into what I believe also most likely, if we go based off of what they did last time with the Cap 45, right adding that in i think that this one potentially we're going to be getting 
these two DLC weapons, maybe in this March Shamrock and Awe event, potentially later in April or at the next event, but I think because they're already in the files, you know, Call of Duty, they don't seem to, especially this year with Black Ops 4, have the DLC content in the files too far ahead, but it looks like the, of course, the sniper and the demo hammer melee weapon. Now, last time what they did was they made the Cap 45 part of a content stream, right? Uh, and then they made it the... Um, they made the melee weapon part of the triple play that you had to purchase, right? And that was the... I forget which melee weapon was it was. I think it was the sleigh bell, right? So basically, I think that possibly that and probably probably most likely that's what's going to happen again maybe we get this mini 14 as part of this shamrock and awe event and then possibly we get this demo hammer as something they try to sell or purchase because it would be unlikely if this shamrock and awe event contained 25 tiers let's say on the contraband stream it would be unlikely there'll be two dlc weapons in there uh if it was 50 tiers then that could be possible as well um who knows we're gonna have to wait and see last one of course was around 25 but if this one it's not listed as a mini event it just straight up says shamrock and awe event it could be 50 tiers I, I'm, I'm guessing more likely 25 and most likely what's going to be in those tiers is a couple of new items and cool stuff but there's going to be a lot of you know based around saint patrick's day gear calling cards outfits uh face paints different things like that uh so that's a, two things that were found as well as some other stuff that has been found and leaked by uh the same reddit user uh josh Wu cool he found basically that there was a cordite space shuttle variant um that seems to be found in the files there was also a shotgun uh pump police which looks like to be to be like a mog 12 with like a police sort of uh layout on it as well as a long burst zombie flick so i'm not sure what this one is if this is going to be a variant if this is going to be zombies exclusive or something like that but there is stuff in the files that is set to come out and this happened with world war ii this happens all the time with call of duty and i think a lot of this we're going to be seeing upcoming in either in march in the shamrock and awe event or further into the future and because they said they're going to continue updating throughout this event um, but this stuff definitely looks decent now of course when it comes down to it it all comes down to shamrock and awe events going to happen but how is the stuff released if it is a free contraband stream where we can earn it that's amazing however now that the supply drop system with the i guess it's technically not not supply drops but you know what i'm talking about the supply drop system with the reserve crates and the reserve cases um are they going to throw some stuff in there are some mastercrafts going to be in there are some variants going to be in there so they have the system set up as of right now it's very very weird the way Black Ops 4 and, and Treyarch has it set up because they have everything at their disposal right now. If we think about it, it it's kind of, I don't know, it is kind of scary, I guess, because they have it, it, is, it is scary, but it also has huge potential to be amazing, right? Because they have, let's think about it, they have an item shop that refreshes daily and, and weekly, you know, with your featured items and stuff like that. They have a supply drop system, essentially, with reserve crates, and they also have a essential battle pass with the season's pass, which, of course, are awesome because the contraband streams, those ones are free as of right now, but at any time, they can sort of of decide and move the content around to which way and put it behind different paywalls which is something something that i'm a little bit concerned about especially because it, like just thinking about black ops 4 the lack of sort of dlc content camos and mastercrafts that was in the game for the first two to three months they probably weren't making as much revenue as they expected off of that player base and that was probably a huge factor in deciding to add the supply drop system right so uh, you think they did they wouldn't just add the supply drop system and throw garbage in there you think they would have a plan for it in the future it's just gonna be interesting to wait and see but definitely yes as a fan of call of duty and black ops 4 enjoy uh, enjoy operation grand heist as of right now but we do have something coming up in the near future with that shamrock and awe event and uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below what do you guys think as far as some of these new variants i'm excited for it honestly i think that more camos there needs to be less calling cards more camos more variants more master crafts and i think that with the way master crafts work is it's interesting because we have master crafts and then we have normal camos and we also have reactive camos and there's much like with the supply drop in the dlc content game this black ops 4 if you think about it it's actually quite confusing with all the stuff that is around each of these uh weapons uh, another thing to think about is dlc weapons will dlc weapons have operator mods in the future and what about weapons that don't currently have operator mods will they get operator mods added who knows the potential there is endless as well and as long as it doesn't become pay to win you know if they're in stuff uh if they were to add stuff that was let's say you know 
like a weapon or an operator mod i think if they keep it to that contraband stream especially if it's early in that so it's free for everyone and available i think that would be the most legit way to do it um but of course we'll have to wait and see but that is of course everything to keep you guys updated with this event uh i'll keep you guys more updates probably coming in the next upcoming weeks as far as more details officially being put out by treyarch as like launch dates most likely this will be like we've had in the past where it's available on ps4 a week before xbox and pc which is a really really crappy system especially for consumers um and even for content creators it, su it sucks because i'm making this video and i'm excited about the content but i know when it comes out it's gonna be a week before when i get it on ps4 before some people watching this video that play on xbox and pc just because of that deal that activision has or i, I would assume it's activision and playstation uh something like that so hopefully you guys did enjoy it drop a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one and i'm out peace